Benazir Bhutto, one of the former prime ministers of Pakistan, who became the youngest leader of the Islamic world and the youngest prime minister in the world when she became prime minister at the age of 35. Benazir Bhutto was born on June 21, 1953 in Karachi, Pakistan. Her father is former Pakistani President and Prime Minister Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. She completed her education at Oxford University Faculty of Law. In addition, she also received undergraduate education at Harvard University. Bhutto returned to her country after completing her education. After her father's arrest and execution, he was under house arrest for a while. She settled in England in 1984 after she was allowed to go abroad. Here she became the head of the Pakistan People's Party, founded by her father. In 1987, she married cement fabricator Asif Ali Sardari. From this union, they had three children named Bilaval, Badiyar, and Asif. In 1988, Benazir Bhutto came to power in a free election in Pakistan and became the first female prime minister in the country's history. But Bhutto's government was overthrown by military forces due to accusations of corruption. Although Bhutto was re-elected in 1993, the government was overthrown three years later when accusations of corruption resurfaced. However, no file that would constitute a crime was found. In 1999, she was forced to leave Pakistan after the military coup led by Pervez Musharraf. Later, she came to the United Arab Emirates and settled in Dubai. When the Al-Qaeda organization threatened to attack Bhutto, who decided to return to Pakistan to participate in the elections to be held in 2007. Musharraf asked Bhutto to postpone her return and wait for the decision of the Supreme Court regarding her request for amnesty. Benazir Bhutto, who did not comply with this request, returned to Pakistan after eight years of exile on the night of October 18, 2007. However, a bomb assassination attempt was made against Bhutto, who was greeted with shows of love from her supporters. However, she survived this attack and scathed. 138 people died and 248 people were injured in the assassination attempt. However, she could not survive the bomb attack in Rawalpindi on December 27. 2007 and lost her life. Al-Qaeda claimed responsibility for the assassination. After Bhutto's death, three days of mourning were declared in the country by President Pervez Musharraf.